Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to my channel, Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for the entire month of August for my Libras. Hello, my Libras. How are you? I hope you're doing really great. So this is the longer reading. So I use three decks of cards. I use my Bradley Valentine Angel Tarot cards. Gives us the main message. Then I go to my John Holland Psychic Tarot and Oracle cards. Kind of fills in those gaps. And then I finish with my Osha Zen Tarot cards for any additional pieces of advice. Now, I have prayed, meditated, and infused each of the decks with Reiki energy, but this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like, leave the rest. Now, I am going to be inserting a little clip about what's going to happen with August. It should be much nicer than July with the energies, and it's about five and a half minutes, so if you want to you know, just go fast, that's fine, and I will be inserting it right now. So let's talk about August. Thank goodness we have August. July's energy was just all over the place. You know, eclipses, solar eclipses, lunar eclipses, Mercury retrograde, all these other planets retrograde. August will be almost like a vacation. It will be calmer. And the neat thing about this is that we are in Leo season now, the first beginning of, you know, of August till the 23rd when we transition to Virgo season. And because of the way the planetary alignment is, because that this is one of the um, more powerful astrological years, um, you know, this, you know, this is going to be about clarity. This is going to be about honesty. This is going to be about fulfilling destiny. This is going to be about, you know, no shadows, no shadows, anything's possible. Honesty, okay? If you're going to lie, you know, let me give you fair warning. If you're going to lie about something, it's going to be revealed. Because remember all of that activity in July and what I talked about with the longer readings in July? This energy will go through December when the next eclipse is here. It is going to be about honesty and revealing um, what was hidden. So just, that's really, do not, you know, try to stay on the straight and narrow, okay? No, even, not even little tiny fibs. Now, a couple of things, the new moon, I'm going to look at my notes, the new moon, July 31st through August 1st. Now, it's interesting because this brings the second new moon in July, but it also is the first new moon for August because the next new moon, now that new moon is in Leo, the next new moon will be in Virgo, and that's August 30th. So we also have our planets, some, you know, some are still going to be retrograde, but Mercury goes direct July 31st through, you know, goes direct and transitions July 31st to August 1st. There's still going to be that um, two-week shadow period when all, you know, retrogrades it gives a little bit of time to stabilize that energy and to get them where they started from. So that will bring us up to that August 14th, 15th, when the full moon is here, and that will be in Aquarius. Aquarius is about dreaming and dreaming big. Now, with this Leo energy and Aquarius being the, you know, the mirror to Leo, and this Leo energy is going to be also about honesty. It's also going to be about being the person you're meant to be. It's going to be about, you know, no shadows, anything po it's possible. It's going to be a very positive energy, but more so with that energy will be more from the 15th until the 23rd, okay? Once that shadow of Mercury is completely lifted. Couple of other planets, though, you want to be aware of is Jupiter goes direct August 11th. Jupiter is a very strong, powerful planet. It's also a playful planet too. Then we have these planets are all retrograde all through August. That's Chiron, Saturn, Neptune, Pluto. All of them are retrograde. They're very shadowy um, planets. So they're revisiting the shadows. They're revisiting the secrets. They're going to be pulling things up. Now, we go to um, into Virgo, August 23rd, and Virgo then, you know, all the things that were happening in the beginning of August, the things that were being put into place, the, um, you know, the positive 
um, the positive moves, all of that good energy is more is you know becomes more it becomes um, put into a more stable environment. So it's like you know there might be this change, especially like I said through the you know like that 15th through the 23rd. But it's like good positive things. You're figuring out what you want to be, who you want to be, what do I want to be when I grow up. And then once that all once that kind of gets put into place, you know. It's kind of like a puzzle. You're getting all those pieces put together, and it's a very true and honest puzzle. Then Virgo comes and it solidifies. You know, it puts that it puts like that plastic over the puzzle, and it makes that puzzle a more stable piece. Okay, and it's also now this is something, and I'm going to post the article on my Facebook page. Um, you know, but I really love this. This is about all. You know, again, I talked to you about it in um, July. But this is again about karma. This is about karma. This is about, you know, liars being revealed. You know, I want to say liar, liar, pants are on fire. You know, but this is about karma. So this month is going to be, I feel, a very positive month for our viewers because, you know, we, we try to be on the straight and narrow. But it's going, I feel it's going to be a much easier month to navigate through. Okay? Okay. So, now, on to your reading. Bye-bye. Okay, so actually August will be, um, have nicer energy than July did, but still, this is a really strong astrological year, and we are in that six month, like I said, you know, from, you know, what July, so it would be more like five months to December, that, you know, there's going to be a lot of things that I really feel are going to benefit Libras. Okay, so let's go on and let's see what we can, what we will see with August for my Libras. Now let's see, let's shuffle one more time and cut the cards. Let's see. Okay, three cards, one, two, and three. The middle card is reversed, so it's a strong message for you. And here we go. First card, Ace of Water. Okay, water, very emotional time, emotional energy, fluid energy. And, you know, and I, so I do feel like we're still going to have that emotional component that started with July coming through. However, this is something new for you. Aces are new beginnings. Water, Cancer, Scorpios, Pisces, emotional, flowing, but this is new beginning. So there could be a new relationship coming. There could be something, you know, so relationship could be a new job. It could be, you know, intimate or personal, or it could be something to do with the family. You know, maybe you're going to be bringing a new person into your family or, you know, but there's a new, there's something new happening on an emotional level here. So this is falling in love or the resurgence of a relationship spiritual growth or and enhanced intuition a new home you could be looking for a new home you could be looking for new mortgages you could be looking you could just be looking you could be looking just for new opportunities in itself um you know it it's it's kind of funny because um you know i really feel a throwing off of the old for libras Throwing off of the old ways, I know that sounds very mystical and old world, but it's like you're throwing off your old ways and you're going forward. So it could even be a new relationship with who you are. Um, I feel, you know, I feel this really strong cleansing and a determination coming from you. Now, this is going to be, the this is one's reversal. So here we go. The six of water. Now, water again, that water energy, that emotional, but this is you looking back. This is you looking back at how did I get to where I'm at? Am I happy with what I'm doing? So this new beginning could be very much based on your recollections, your reminiscence of how you got to where you're at. What did you, you know, with this Leo energy and this, well, and also this July energy and this Leo, and it's kind of like I really feel, you know, again, this throwing off, this throwing off of the old world, the throwing off of the old ways. Because it's kind of like, you know, you know, maybe you're going to be looking back and seeing things of what you wanted to do. Maybe you're looking back and saying, you know, I had hopes and, and visions and, and I had goals and, 
and you know now I'm not necessarily meeting them or my or they were hijacked they were hijacked and the thing is I mean, you know you're, you're gonna look at it pretty realistically and you'll say well maybe I allowed them to be hijacked okay but this is Memories up from your history or childhood, issues regarding children, romanticizing the past. Your last card is the three of earth. Okay, earth energy is our Virgo energy, our Taurus energy, our Capricorn. It's, it's solid energy and it's money energy. And I feel that this is you creating ways to create money, to create wealth, to create um, security, to create... Um, that stable foundation okay it's like you know you're looking at you know and maybe you're, you're thinking okay because you're an air sign you like balance but I feel like you know again you go back and forth a little bit with your balance and you're kind of thinking you know what no no I, I and again I get this throwing off of the old ways and I am going to create a new life a, and I don't know is it a new life is it I am going to create the security that I've been wanting I've been wanting this security and I haven't gotten this security. Maybe I haven't gotten this security from my emotional level, you know, the emotional part, and I want it. I want it, and I'm going after it now. Now, this is the power of creativity, recognition for high-quality work, being a team player. Okay, let's go on now. Let's see. Can you clarify? Let's have some clarification for our Libras. Okay. Let's have some clarification. One card has come out. Clarification for our Libras. Libra Libras. Yes, this is this is interesting information here. And it's almost like you're saying, okay, your intellect is, is looking at it and saying, where was I? Why? What was my emotional component in this? You know, uh, it's really a lot of self-study in its own way. And again, it's like, you know, throwing off that cloak, throwing off the old ways, throwing off the old ways. And when you throw off the old ways, then you have to have a new way to replace that, okay? Because otherwise you've got some emptiness there. Okay, three cards. Now the first card, the one that came up, is face up. And this is your heart chakra. And these chakras are like energy points. You know, you have them all through your body. And actually, you know, these are the main, and people will talk about other, you know, chakras, and you know, but they're energy points. But this is the heart chakra. This goes with that emotional component. This goes with that... You know that love that um the caring maybe this is love you know caring for yourself this is where you are looking at you know a couple of things with this heart you are looking again where did my emotions play remember we talk about mind heart intuition spirit you know this is a little different you know this encompasses a little more and you you know and you're you you being an heir is very much the mind you think about things and you're thinking where did I let my heart lead me? Was my heart um, deceived? Was my heart falsely led? You know, where did I do that? Where was that at? Okay, so that could go, you know, that's again, or where am I starting over with my heart? Now, here we go. This one is reversed, very strong. This is a time of transformation. This is that time of throwing away the, not throwing away, throwing off, throwing off the old now i do love this card i think that she looks quite lovely you know she's actually if you look down here there's an old gray mask that she has taken off you know she has you know at least i'm assuming she has pulled that off and now this beautiful new being this new spirit is coming so this be aware that this is going to be um a time of where you actually are more in control of this transition, this transformation. You know, it's, it's not necessarily that it's being ha that it's happening to you, but you're like, no, 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 no. I'm I'm going for it. I'm going for it. Whatever it is. So if you are looking, you know, if you're doing things like you want to go back to school, you want to go back to work, you want to change your work, you want to go back, you want a different relationship. Okay. I mean, you know, relationship again. Work. It could be work family and, or personal but you want some you know it's like I want it different now I want it different and you know many times over and I've said this to people you know who's come to me for readings you know you know you want something different and you know you're changing and that other person or that other job will have to change to keep up with you or they will leave your life okay 
Next card. And again, this is reversed and this is moving on. This is, you know, he's, this person is moving from the shadows and moving towards the sun, okay? And what's in his, I'm not quite sure what that is in his hand. It could be, it could be a compass. It could be a watch. I'm not quite sure, but it's like, you know, it could be something that he's following. It could be, you know, but he's moving on and he's got a direction. I feel like he has a clear direction. Now, you may say, but Deb, I really don't have that clear direction. Well, you have the intellect, you have, you know, you have the that thought so that you can figure that out, okay? And you won't necessarily, you will be getting yourself prepared to move on, but you won't move on until you actually know where you're moving on to. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so let's see about any last words of advice. Because this is about, again, um, and, and there's an emotional component to it. It's not like you're, to, you're, you're not necessarily in this total intellectual, you know, this, the coldness, you know, the coldness of the mind. You're not in that. It's like, this is not an easy, these are not easy decisions for you. Okay, we got a couple coming out here. Um, these aren't easy decisions, easy choices for you, but it's like, no, I feel like um, if you don't, you know, I feel like you feel that if you don't, you'll you'll drown. Okay, not that you'll literally, but I feel that you're that you just feel like you're suffocating. Okay, and again, that throwing off is very very clear. It's like very I'm throwing it off, throwing off the old ways. Okay, three cards down. This is Osha Zentero for any kind of words of advice. Okay, this is reversed again. Reversed means to me strong message. Here we have abundance. Here we have being part of, you know, this is to me also being part of something bigger. This is wanting something more. So this is kind of to me saying, you know, don't be afraid to go after some of your dreams. Don't be afraid to want more. Don't be afraid. I'm not telling you to be greedy. I'm not saying, you know, I want, I want what everybody else is and I want that instead. Yeah, I want theirs. No, I'm not saying being greedy. I don't think you would be greedy. But it's like, this is a time of welcoming and wanting abundance. This is going to be a great time. Remember, with the full moon. So, new moon to full moon is waxing. That's when you request. Full moon to new moon. I mean, full moon to new moon is waning. That's when you release. So, basically, full moon is when you release, relinquish, and request. Okay, release what's holding you back relinquish what doesn't serve you and request the good stuff and this is you saying this is what i want so from now even though we have this mercury retrograde shadow i still you know this is still working for you um you know start especially with this new moon just start requesting 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 okay with this new moon the one in um you know july 31st to the first start requesting go out there just say it out loud put the energy out there okay again reversed totality okay so this one also has to have to do with trust this one has to do with um being skilled this one has to do with you know i mean th you know this is you know i don't know if they just let go or if they're reaching for but this has to be something that you know this is this is um you know you have to be skilled to do this and you do have the skills you or, and if you don't you need to go and get those skills for whatever it is that you're thinking of going into. You need to go look for those skills. But this is again, you know, I, I, and I kind of think of, of you as this person. You know, I, I think of the person I'm reading for more as the middle. It could be, it could be though that you could be one of these, the outliers. Maybe you're the one that's reaching. Maybe you're the one that's going to be giving up that burden. Okay, that could be, that could be. So let's go ahead and. Look at the last card, and this one is sharing, okay? This one is, and I'm also looking at this totality, this is five, fives are changed. This one is about sharing. This one is the feminine to this, okay? This is the masculine, and this is the feminine. This is the one receiving, this is the one giving this is the one that is also you know that it's not you're not keeping your light under a bushel okay you are not and that's kind of where when i say it, you're throwing this off it's like you're not you're not um 
you're not hiding yourself away as much as you have hidden yourself away, okay? Many times my Libras like to have that hermit. You know, I understand that. But this is you sharing your life essence with with out there, with, with the others that are out there, okay? Maybe not necessarily what's been holding you back, but it's, again, but again, I feel like, again, like you're, you know, like you've got this big heavy cape and you're like, Phew, I'm throwing it off. And it's like, I, I'm now ready to enter the world, okay? okay? So my Libras, it's a, it's really a very empowering month for you. It's a very strong month for you. And once we passed Virgo, once we pass Virgo season, it will then be Libra season. So it's almost like you're getting ready for your birthday season. So very strong month. I think you will use this energy really, really well. So my Libras, as always, know that you are loved and be blessed. Bye-bye.